Hello and welcome. This is the continuation of the previous video where we are asked to include one main comparison test for one way and over. Please do better to watch the previous video for better clarity. Basically, main comparison test is used to determine which group main is significantly different from each other after rejecting null hypothesis. The various types of main comparison tests associated with one way and over air. Toki test, also known as honestly significant different test, sometimes called wholly significant different test. Second one is the least significant difference test, student Newman kills test, also have Donuts test, another mean comparison test. The choice of which mean comparison test to use depends on the research question, the number of groups being compared, and the assumptions of the data. For the purpose of this video, we're going to make due weight to talking on the HSD test. The first thing is to calculate standard error. To calculate standard error, the formula is square root of error minus square over n. This table shows a one way and over summary table for our previous video where we got our error minus square to be this value here over n. In our previous video, our n value is 5 for each group. Based on the fact that each group has 5 observations, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, right? So this value divides by 5 gives 258.9, square root of 258.9, 16.09. So we record this value in our summary table. Next step is to rearrange the means being compared in ascending order. In our previous video, these were the means of the three groups being compared. This is the mean for set 1, set 2, and set 3. And so rearranging these values in ascending order, we have the mean for set 2 being the least, followed by mean for set 3, and the highest mean being for set 1. Next step says, underline means that are not significantly different. Comparing the mean value of set 2 with the mean value of set 3, their difference in mean is 7.4 because this value minus this value gives this right. Comparing the mean value for set 1 with the mean value for set 3, the difference is 58.4. Obviously, the difference between these two sets is very wide. Why there is no significant difference between these two? So we we'll underline this. Check for the critical HSD value from Q table. So we're going to look at Q at 0.05. Based on the fact that the level of significance given to us is 5%, which is equivalent to 0.05. Also, from our one way and over table, our error degree of freedom we got 12. 3 here indicates that we're working with 3 sets or 3 groups set 1, set 2, set 3. This is our Q table. We could see the alpha at 0.05. That is our significant level. We trace our degree of freedom 12, and the number of groups is 3. And so we trace it down here. Q value is 3.773, right? So we record this value in our summary table, right? This step says compare the difference between means. Yeah, we'll make comparison between set 1 and set 2, set 1 and set 3, also between set 3 and set 2. Comparison between set 1 and set 2. Set 1 value is this minus set 2 value gives this value the difference divide by standard error value gives the Q calculator being this value. Making comparison between these two, this value is greater than this value. So we reject null. Since we rejected null, a conclusion will be that the mean for set 1 is not equal to the mean for set 2. Making comparison between set 1 with this value minus set 3 value gives this value here. This value divide by this gives the Q value. Comparing these two values here, the Q critical is greater than this value, so we accept now. Since we accepted now, we conclude that the mean for set 1 is equal to the mean for set 3. Comparison between set 3 and set 2. Remember we did say there is no difference between set 2 and set 3. Since there is no difference found between these two means, we do not test. The rule is, since we did not test, we accept now. Since we accepted now, we conclude that the mean for set 3 is equal to the mean for set 2. The last step is to draw conclusion. Our overall conclusion will be that population mean of set 1 is not equal to that of set 2, while that of set 2 is equal to that of set 3. Uh, the population mean of set 3 is equal to the population mean of set 2, but that of set 2 is not equal to that of set 1. So set 1 is the cause of the significant difference observed in the test. I hope this video is helpful. 
Please stay tuned for the next video where we'll solve some numerical problems on two-way and over. Please do well to like this video, leave a comment, share, and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. Bye.